Guys, good morning. Today is another beautiful day in Lofoten, Norway. You really never know what kind of weather you're gonna get. So whether it's sunny, rainy, cloudy, it's all good. You just embrace whatever weather is gonna come. Today we're gonna go explore some fishermen villages and as well, if the weather turns out to be okay, we might hike another mountain. But before we start, Future Teppo is gonna explain and show you what travel vlog setup I'm using right now because this is a setup I'm really stoked about when it comes to traveling and vlogging. Hey guys, Future Teppo here. Man, does it feel good to be back home after sleeping a few nights in the tent and in the car. Let's just say that sleeping in your own bedroom feels so good. But before we start talking about what vlogging setup I was using on this trip, we got to take care of something. I've been neglecting something for a really long time. This is like post-corona Norway road trip hair. It looks like a disaster. So I think it's time to take care of this. Ah, that's a lot better. The hair is looking slick again. Seriously, this is the first time getting a haircut since pre-corona days, so Let's just say I was in due time for a haircut. All right, enough about my hair. Talking about the vlogging and travel setup that I was using for my Norway trip. I was actually filming all the video on the Olympus EM5 Mark III with the very epic 12 meter lens F2 and the Rode Video Micro. Now, the reason why I wanted uh, to use this setup was is that it's just so small and compact. I don't know if you can really tell, but literally this fits into the palm of my hand. Uh, it's pretty much smaller than my hand, this setup. But with the Olympus EM5, I was able to get uh, 4K at 24 frames per second with a really high bit rate, uh, with a really nice IBIS so that I can film all handheld. Um, usually I've been using the 7 to 14 millimeter lens f2.8 to get those really wide shots, but it is quite a beefy lens. Whereas this 12 millimeter lens, look at, let me just take it off the care body. It's, it's this small, it's this like little piece of toy that you can throw it on the camera. But this is a really lightweight setup and of course for sound, I didn't want just the camera uh, mic, I wanted to use the Rode Video Micro. Uh, I usually use the Rode Video Mic Pro but it's so massive so it just felt funny to have um, such a big shotgun microphone on such a small compact setup but yeah for vlogging having the flip LCD screen you can see yourself then when you're filming you have the IBIS you have the really high quality uh, bit rate for 4k 24 frames per second and really for me the main things uh, when I'm doing the travel films is that I don't want a whole bunch of gear with me I want just a really small setup that I can carry with me while I'm hiking up to a mountain. So you can imagine the difference between this setup and then for example, a full on uh, DSLR camera body with a huge lens. It adds up when you're doing a long hike. And then I found filming with this setup, it's just more fun. I feel like I'm not too stressed about uh, the gear and everything, but I'm just having fun documenting the trip and making fun vlogs. So if you're interested in, in a nice entry level, uh, vlogging setup, definitely check this out. The Olympus EM5 Mark III, uh, then the 12 millimeter F2.0, and then the Rode Video Mic Ro. Rode Video Mic Ro. Yeah, that's the name. Rode Video Mic Ro. All right, guys, before we continue back to the vlog, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing and it allows this community to grow. So I just want to thank you in advance for subscribing to the channel. But now we go back to the vlog. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed my setup, the EM5 Mark III and the 12 millimeter lens. Isn't it small? It's just insane. Really enjoy it when I'm doing my travels and doing all the vlogs because I don't want to carry a bunch of gear. But my wife is waiting in the car, so it's time for me to jump in the car and drive out and go and explore. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
All right, we made it to Raina Bringen. This is my third time here, and finally you're able to hike it because the pathway up there has been under construction for a while, but now they've made some nice steps so it's actually easy to get up there. It's gonna be steep, but it's gonna be short, which is a win. Look at that mountain. There's just mountains for days here. Woof. But today we're gonna hike up there. So we get the view all over here from up there. Okay, so it begins the steep steps to Mordor. Hundred steps, a few hundred more to go. The minions are going up the mountain. Rest stop number two. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, honey? Hiking's just one step at a time. It's not about how fast you go. I'm so slow. <laughs> These are our friends, Tommy and Haiti. Hey! Hey, Tommy. Hey, Haiti. Haiti's like, don't film me, please. <laughs> me and Haiti are in the same boat when it comes to hiking. Yep. Oh. It's all about slow and steady wins the race. 700 steps. 800, 900. So I just made the mistake of asking a Norwegian local. She was a little bit more elderly and she said, that until there's 1,700 steps and we've only done 900, we've been deceived. 12.99, that means 1,300, 400 steps. I think I can actually do this. Pretty pumped to get to the top and see the view of Reine. Steps ended, now it's some boulder climbing. Last steps to the top, check this view out. What of you. Good job. You're an amazing hiker. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. I'm so sweaty right now, and now it's getting windy, so I've got to bundle up some clothes because otherwise I'm going to freeze to death. Woo! Trying to bring it. Conquered. Oh, snap. Woo! And I am so glad we came out to Lofoten. At first we weren't sure should we come here because every day the weather looked like rain, 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 rain. But this is Lofoten, it says it's gonna rain, it rains for a bit, then it's cloudy, then it's sunny again, you never know. But seriously, look at these views. Ooh, just insane. All right, I think it's time to head down because it looks like it's gonna start raining, but three for three, three hikes in three days. It's been a fantastic trip here in Lofoten. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog and the footage from the Olympus EM5 Mark III. I'm gonna get myself down off this mountain.